What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Pete Down. I'm back with more Fake Grand Order. So, last time we took on the first Demon Pillar, so let's go fight the next one. Or, I guess, second, technically. So, it's time for Fornius, the Observatory. Let's go see if this one is equally as fucking long. God, God knows Camelot and the other is going to be fucking long. Activate, activate the nine pillars that govern the observatory. Galacia Labalos, Boon, Ronove, Berith, Astaroth, Forest, Asmode, Gaip. We nine pillars smell the scent of time. We nine pillars follow phenomena. In the name of the 72 demon gods, we will not allow this aggression to cease. Hold it right there. From here to the future, from now to the past, all of this belongs to us. What I'm getting at is that this is our territory and you're gonna give us everything you've got, including your lives. I know we've got no business showing up like this and being so pushy, but we can't help it. We're pirates. Woo, so cool, boss! Yeah, let's have some fun like always, mateys. No matter who we're fighting or what we're fighting, what we do never changes. We pillage, we drink, we party. But boss, we know you're like a ghost or something, but how come we came back to life too? Bullshit, that's how. <laughs> You can worry about the details when you drop dead. Also, I ain't no ghost. You ever see a ghost with a body like this? Yeah. You bonehead scallywags, don't you remember that the boss doesn't like ghosts? But don't you dare think of using that to scare her. She'll shoot a ghost right in the face without a second thought. By the way, that's how I got this eye patch. Well, this is completely useless information to be giving me now that I'm dead. Okay, Gunners, throw Bombay into the cannons and fire him at the meat pillar. Oh, please, no, I'll do my job. Come on, quit slacking off and work, man. I don't know what's going on, but we got dragged into this mess too. Somehow, because shenanigans or bullshit, I don't care. Looks like we're stuck with her through life and death. You got it, we're the sailors of the Golden Hind. We'll follow the captain wherever she goes, yar! Captain, I see a new ship off the starboard bow. That's Queen Anne's Revenge. I see, I see. So he's come too. Annoying, but he's okay in a fight. Hey, Blackbeard, can you hear me? Where are you? Heh. <laughs> I shall be the one to defeat you. I can't let anyone else be the one to. You especially we reject. We repudate. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Again with the fucking... <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna start... Every time Blackbeard says something I don't like, I'm just gonna fill it in with my own text. The hell? Oh, come on, guys. What are you doing attacking me in the middle of my super cool monologue? That is so not cool. Wow, Anne. The captain's lecturing a demon god on what's appropriate as a human. I'm not sure which one is worse. <laughs> Still, I didn't think you two would answer my call. Did I trigger some flags without me knowing? You've got some death flags popping up right now. Well, to be completely honest, your pirate crew wasn't the worst we've been with. It would have been better if we were deployed with Captain Drake, though. Oh well, nothing for it. We'll have to put up with you. Again. Right. Compromise and settle. Compromise and settle. Yeah. Wow! I'm being treated as a guy they settled for! Well, that's real women for ya. You're pushing your ideals on women too much. What? He talked. Come on, Captain. Hector's not here. It's just you, us, and your men on the ship. Which means we should fight along with the Golden Hind. Captain Drake has sent you a message to that effect as well. 
Uh, I know. I was just about to answer. <clears throat> I don't know what Torah means. Basically, tell them down for whatever. Roger, Captain. Fighting together. Fighting together with Francis Drake. You seem to be having trouble containing your excitement, Captain. Our Captain is a hopeless dummy. He's so childish. Shut up! All right, men. We'll match our movement to the old ha- I mean, Drake's ship. Who do they think they are stealing a pirate's treasure? I don't care if they're demon gods or plain old devils. They'll regret stealing the treasure from Super Pirate Blackbeard when I send them to hell. All right, even that moron's ready to fight. Men, don't you dare lose. If we sink before that fool, you'll spend the rest of eternity cleaning the ship's head in hell. Aye, aye, Captain. Goldenhine ready the main cannons. Queen and Revenge ready the main cannons. Fire. T, <laughs> I came by. Hey, you there. Don't just casually stroll in like some schoolgirl returning from the city. Damn it, we came. We came. Hold on a sec. Do you think you can turn me back to my proper form, Miss Lady Artemis? Coming to this temple in this form seems really, really inappropriate. Are the creepy squid legs over there looking at me like, what is that? Are they? Are they? No. It's not what you think. This fluffy form is all that goddess's fault. Aw, but I'm worried. And you know, the way of a Greek goddess is to stick with someone to the ends of hell once they've gotten involved. Master is doing his best, so we'll be rewarded with some of my special... So he'll be rewarded with some of my special services. Well, it's good for a goddess like you to be interested in something. At least I'd like to believe that. I mean, in typical Greek myth fashion, a person pretty reliable ends up dying horribly when the gods get interested in them. Aw, don't sweat the small stuff. Okay, darling, hop on my head. Fine, whatever. Just so we're clear, I'll be get the one giving orders. You don't need to use that puny head of yours. You just keep firing your bow. Oh, no, wait, that was her. That was him. Whoops. Yeah. Just so we're clear, I'll be the one giving orders. You don't need to use that puny head of yours. Just keep firing that bow. Okay. Come on, darling. Follow me to the ends of the earth, okay? Okay. I can't... Oh. No! I can't hear you. Okay. Whatever. Didn't matter. It doesn't matter. Not if it matters. <laughs> None of it matters! Alright, let's do this. So, Show time. Alright, so... Rida. Rida, Rida, Rida. <sighs> Come to me, Ramsey. And to me, my writers. Draco. Man, I'm gonna murder this thing. <laughs> Us too full. Blackbeard, cuz. Let's party. Sir, so, showtime. Mm. Throat's kind of already getting dry a bit. <clears throat> Forgot to stock up on water. And frankly, doing Blackbeard ain't the easiest thing in the world. Kind of a strain, just a little bit. Well, you look ugly. Oh, take away NP. 
I don't like that. You're a dick. You just get that every turn, don't you? All right. Well. You're going to play that game then. Okay, you don't do it every turn. That's at least good. Let's do it again. There we go. A little bit more. Yeah, 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 incineration. Bring it. To be fair, that was only just slightly inconvenient. Oh, that's right, I don't have the skill anymore. Oh, well. Unfortunately, your drive is over. Golden Wild Hunt. Ramsey, uh, Ram whatever. Tentress. Golden Drive. Good night. That'll do some, eh, damage to him. But these are the big hitters. Go to work, Kentucky. Golden Drive. God, that was beautiful to watch. All right, Kentucky. Finish him off. You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Ooh, snake eye. Nice. Hmm. And, uh... I could wait till the ending of the cutscene, but... Boy, do I just wanna... Let's just roll anyways. Is the luck my lady tonight? We'll see. Are you with me, Lady Luck? Please, guide me. That's a no, it's Deer Mood. Someone who also needs Lady Luck's hand. Probably not Lady Luck specifically, though. Probably Man Luck. That sounded weird. Whatever. No, observatory closed. Alright. <laughs> Alright, solid hit, but that's not enough. It's not nearly enough. Oh, right. Stop! God. 
Once the, uh, uh, once the enemy's heard it's time to uh, turn up the heat, we've still got more rounds, right? Aye, aye, Captain. We brought as much as we could. Good. All right, Vang, get going. If the stars are in the sky, you can use them to guide your path. There's only room for us here. We fine here. That's why. Yeah. Good luck, Master. That's right. Not only am I Uriel here, but so am I Steno. Well, that medusa is here too, I guess. That means we can buy you infinite time. Come, Asteros. Yeah. Get on my shoulders. Yes, let's go, me. This is a good opportunity to see who's the best hunter. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Not happening. We're both going to work super hard and be reckless. There aren't many times when you can really let loose without being considerate. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna kick some butt, too. <laughs> Going wild is fine, but remember you're still my ride. S sorry. I won't go too hard. All right, Yoriel. What is it? Send everybody off with a song. Something that will cheer Vane on. A will request? How wonderful. Just for today. Okay, Vane. Don't stop moving because my song entrances you. <laughs> oh, they're so lucky. They get to flirt with Uriel Chun over there. So lucky. I want to play with her too. I wanna play. But I will turn my resentment into power. Come, let's kill this stupid squid thing. I am not a squid. I am a ray. You especially are unacceptable. Hey, why am I the only one you keep talking to like that? Do you think I'm one of you or something? Wow, scary. Okay, I'm scared, so I'm definitely going to kill you. Hey, uh, eyes, nose, no nose, just eyes, eyes, eyes! That thing's got nothing but eyes! He does look kind of powerful when he does things like that. A lot of guys look cool until they open their mouths. Erigen particularly surprised me. And since he's still a king, should we speak to him more politely? There's no need for that now. For your information, I'm one of those guys who should keep his mouth shut too. Why did you only make garbled screams in a weird voice this whole time? <laughs> Gunhild gets upset if I talk to other women. It's fine if she gets upset, but sometimes she curses them. Uh, I didn't expect to hear about the dark side of a happy couple at a time like this. It doesn't matter. I'm always summoned as a berserker, so it works. Anyway, I'm off to go fight a bit more. Oh ho! Eric's going postal here. Guess I'd better join in. Feels like we're late to the game. As the heroines of Blackbeard's pirates, we can't lose this fight. Aye, that's right. We'll crush all our foes just like we did in the last battle. But things are different this time. Our captain may be an idiot, but he puts himself on the front line. Aye, right indeed. Ooh, my butt! My butt is on fire! Bucket! 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 He really is an idiot, though. Okay, it's calmed down a little. <laughs> yep, yep. Leave the rest to me and relax. By the way, Abishag, I found a lovely island. Let's go visit when this battle is over. I'm not Abishag. No, it's okay. To me, any pretty girl I see is Abishag. It's a wonderful thing. Wow, that is really not okay. Get out there and fling some stones. There's not even a drop of alcohol, you drunk. Oh, you're no fun. But I suppose there's nothing I can do. 
This is the perfect time to show Vane that I can be trusted. I'll do it. And I'll do it well, even if supposedly my foe is my son. Or at least someone claiming to be. <laughs> darling, darling! Were you watching, were you? <laughs> I was so cool, wasn't I? Oh yeah, yeah, you were very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Say it like you mean it, you're making me super mad. Can you stop talking like an airhead? It's damaging the reputation of goddesses everywhere. You might, you might be okay with it, but the other goddesses are complaining to me. Look, I have four letters from them. It's fine to be all lovey-dovey, but keep her on a shorter leash. All moon goddesses are dippy. Please get a room. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, God damn it, Jaguar man. Are you telling me you're cheating on me? No, absolutely not. Stop giving me that vacant and ditzy look, okay? Okay? Look, the enemy's here. <laughs> Darling, let's have a long talk later, okay? <laughs> Everything's fine. Don't worry. You're the only one I love. <laughs> I mean it, really. You're the only one for me. Well, even if there's no love between you two, aren't you fulfilled physically? Sleeping with a pretty girl is nice. No better way to rest one's cold, weary bones. Yeah, there have been some tasty moments. Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> yep, once this battle's over, let's be happy together. <laughs> Maybe at the bottom of the sea. That's a double suicide. No way. It's okay. I can still keep going. Even if there's a weird king who's trying to seduce me, or a goddess I worship is staring at a stupid lover's quarrel, is starting a stupid lover's quarrel. I won't let that get me down. The children's smiles, everything like that, it's all giving me energy. Now, who's next? You? You? Come at me. Even without the protection of my goddess, I'm energized enough to take out even a Calde... Caledonian boar right now. But you know, I wish I had better companions. I would have even taken that stupid speedster. Why is Jason here? Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I'm gonna live. No, I'm gonna die. Damn it all, what got into me? Chance to restore my name, huh? I was drawn in by that promise and ended up summoned to a place like this. I'm a heroic spirit who fights with wisdom and courage. I don't want to fight in a battlefield where there's ten times more enemies than us. I want to win the easy way. So I'm going to go home. My home turf is a place where I don't have to think about anything. Um, Lord Jason, wasn't it our bond that summoned you here? I was delusional. Delusional! I let you drag me here! I understand how Heracles feels a little now. Can't understand what he says, but I can feel him. Damn you, Hera. Why am I stuck with you even after becoming a heroic spirit? Once more, once more. I want a do-over. I want to restart my adventure smarter and stronger. It's okay. I'll protect you, Lord Jason. Hector's here too, right? Right, right. Offensive battles are my specialty. Me and the Argonauts can hold the line for a while. Huh? Are you idiots? I mean, maybe Medea is, but you too, Hector? Don't you go stupid on me too. And you call yourself the Guardian of Troy. You and Medea both need to go support Heracles now. Clear a path for him so he can concentrate on offense. Huh? What about defending this place? Are you willing to sacrifice our one tiny hope of victory, idiot? Listen, this is just a simple math problem. Instead of turning 1 into 10, it's much better if we turn 10 into 100. Make the Argonauts a 10, and we'll be toast. We'd be a million times better off making Heracles a 100. Right, Heracles? You may be completely out of your mind, but we're talking about war. You know what I'm saying. Heracles grinning is the creepiest thing I can possibly imagine. That's right. You guys all back Heracles up. And I'll wait here. It's a pain in the ass, but I'll show you how to use the sails. Sigh. Hector, you look completely bewildered. And that's my Lord Jason. 
when Jason gets big-headed, he can really turn into a total loser. But when you put him under a ton of pressure and when he starts to get anxious about his own life, he gets really smart and really cool. I mean, that's part of it, but... It's just that I finally figured out why this old man ended up on your side in Okeanos. Oh yes, I see. They're a lot alike. The way he only shows his stuff as a hero when he's under a ton of pressure? Yep, it's just like my dumb little brother. Their looks and personalities are completely different, though. Anyway, let's try not to let the bond we forged slip away. Yes, let's go. We'll support you, Heracles. I, Medea, will support and strengthen you with everything I have. Show them the power of the famous hero of myth. Yeah, that. See ya, Captain Jason. Just stay there and wait for good news. Idiot. There's not gonna be any good news. We've been sent here to be chewed up and spit out. Ah, damn it. I'm going to die for nothing again, I bet. I can't believe it. I never thought I'd see the day you'd impress me. Not since I became a heroic spirit. I'm speechless. Who's talking? Huh? That voice. Oh, it's older Medea. I was just saying that you did the right thing. The best thing you can do here is to let Heracles fight to his fullest. I have a bond with Vane, so I shall help out a bit as well. It's the real one! That made my head hurt. That Medea over there is real too. It's true that we've come here to die, but our job is to delay the enemy for every possible second. You're the captain. I can protect you for a short while. Use that time to move the Argonauts to distract them. Now get to it. You're better with the sails than Heracles, aren't you? Damn it, what a nightmare. Two of them. Two of them at once. If this is a dream, I hope I can wake up soon. Come, Vaini Zanagi. Get a move on. The wind won't be at your back forever. Nope, these are all going to be equally as long. Great, cool.